Aloha again everyone, this is Randoms on My Mind and in this video I'm going to be talking about one of the side hustles that I do which is selling on eBay. Specifically I'm going to be talking about how I packed a pair of jeans inside this priority mail flat rate envelope and later on I'm going to also talk about the shipping process, how I paid for the label and finally the final completion of packaging. So hope you enjoy. Before I filmed this video I accidentally packed the jeans inside a flat rate envelope and I sealed it. So as to not waste an envelope, I'll just show off this one right here as an example and grab another pair of jeans so I can roll it up and pack it as a demonstration for all of you. But anyways, this is the Priority Mail flat rate envelope but it's padded. You can see it's soft right here. I can bend it like that. This is different than these types of flat rate envelopes which are the cardboard kind and uh, these you can at least at the post office that I go to I can just walk in and grab a bunch but these padded envelopes they are not readily available to the public uh, in my case uh, I had to go to the clerk and ask for a few of them if you don't see any available just for you to grab on your own definitely go up to the clerks and ask them for a few because they may have them in stock. Another item that I use for packaging is roll tape. This type of envelope has a sticky tape on it. You just peel off a seal and uh, close it down like that and it sticks. But I like to go the extra step by putting tape because I'm sending it from Hawaii which is quite a far distance to its destination just to be on the safe side I'll use tape to seal the end over here but of course I need the tape because I need to stick the label onto the envelope so on the opposite side excuse me you'll see right there there's four corners so this is the area to place the mailing label right there place mailing label here so I'll just put it like that over this area and use this tape to tape it down. I got my camera facing the wall and right now I'm just gonna show how I roll the jeans for packing. So I grab the other end of the jeans and I'm just gonna roll it four times. One, two, three, Just like this. So I got my jeans folded and I got my envelope. I'm gonna flip it upside down because I'm right-handed. Like that, like that, and just push it in. You may have to turn it vertical so you can shake it down. After everything is done, you'll get it like this. It's okay if this bag bulges out like this uh, because it's under 70 pounds, which is the weight limit for these types of items or these types of envelopes. And also the priority boxes, priority mail boxes, excuse me, they uh, can be packed up to 70 pounds too, as long as everything fits inside. Which it does. Another thing to consider is that after you peel off the, the label, it has to seal properly. This is kind of a tight one, let's see. Yeah. So I'll close it and I can seal it just like that. So just make sure you peel off this label with this red and white writing over here then you stick it down and then like I said earlier you get the tape if you want to and tape it down alright I'm gonna switch over to my computer so I can show all of you how I process items this website is the eBay seller overview and you can see right here it says ship it so that means the the buyer already paid for the item and it's my responsibility now to send it out 
first thing I'll do is click this blue icon or the blue button print shipping label so click that Oops, right there print shipping label the first thing I suggest before doing anything is right here assume shipping date if you're not going to send it out the day that you're printing the label make sure you adjust this because if you don't do that say for example like in my case I'm sending this I'm going to send this item out tomorrow say for example I left it as today's date which is uh, October 17th Wednesday if uh, if I leave it like this that means that the post office is expecting that I send it out today um, and later on, like I've actually had this happen where I didn't adjust the t the um, not the time, the date, and uh, I had to uh, adjust it. So what happened was I had to cancel the um, shipping label. So after I paid for it, I had to cancel it, pay it again, and then a few weeks later, uh, I was reimbursed for the first. Uh, time I made this label or made the label so uh, it's not a it's not a hassle you can act you can actually get your money back if you make a mistake it's just that it's not instant it's gonna take a little time for your money to come back so just to be safe the first time if you're gonna ship it on a date other than when you're printing this label make sure you adjust it so I'm gonna send out tomorrow therefore I will change this to tomorrow and it's easily printed right there tomorrow so click that all right so because I'm going to be sending these jeans through uh, priority mail which is uh, USPS packaging I can just click this right here on the right side and it'll organize uh, everything based on the size so because I'm going to be sending or because I packaged the jeans in a padded envelope just click right there padded envelope so I click that and right there USPS priority mail padded flat rate envelope which is exactly what I have I like this because shipping from Hawaii does get really expensive so at least with the flat rate envelope I can or a box flat rate box I can stuff it up and as long as it's under 70 pounds, then it, I'm only paying one price. Uh, this shipping can get really expensive. So it's best to, at least from Hawaii, ship it through uh, Priority Mail. So let's see. Yep, right there, 70 pounds. The dimensions are correct. I also like that insurance is included. I sold this item for $28. I think it was $28 so to have uh, up to $50 insurance included is great because the jeans are covered and right there estimated delivery of October 24th and finally the price is uh, $7.10 one thing to note about shipping prices when you're listing an item is to always consider the handling you know how like sometimes if you watch an infomercial they'll say blah 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 for shipping and handling the handling is uh, just different items that you would need to uh, fully process the shipping for example well these bags are free because they're from the post office but say for example I had bought uh, mailers which are the uh, gray plastic bags uh, I could consider that when I was or when I'm listing the price of shipping and handling and also things like rules of tape you can also consider that I mean, you don't have to do the exact math down down to small amounts or whatever but you can also consider that when you're uh, packaging or when you're pricing out your shipping even uh, labor because of course you are putting labor into packaging into uh, printing labels uh, even listing the item so always make sure that you pay yourself too it's just like going to work you put in the labor and you get money out of it kind of the same thing of course you're not going to get as much money 
because it's just handling, shipping and handling. But at least you are paying yourself a little bit too. So uh, once that checks out, yep, USPS packaging right here, padded envelope. This is the price and all the details. I can click on any additional things that I want. Usually I don't require signature delivery just because it's not a pricey item. Uh, I sold a computer once and for that I actually required a signature at the delivery because it's such an expensive item, hundreds of dollars. So uh, that was good. Um, additional insurance, I don't need that because I'm covered under the insurance and other things like that. So if everything checks out, oh, I can also on the right side change the format. I'm printing from an HP printer. Uh, this is uh, what I default it to, what the um, eBay website defaults it to. It assumes that I'm printing from just a typical printer. But if you have like a, a label writer or something else, you can probably adjust it over here too. All right. So, um, yep. Total seven dollars ten cents. Just as a, a heads up, I guess. Uh, it actually costs like ten dollars or even more than that if I did not ship it with the uh, priority mail flat rate padded envelope. Uh, so that's uh, yeah. This is a really good option in my case. So if everything checks out, which it does, yep. Tomorrow. Padded envelope, details for the service and total and the uh, size of the label, then just click right here, purchase and print label. So it's loading and once it is done, then I can print out the label and stick it on this envelope. The last thing I need to do before sending it out is to put this label, excuse me, this label in this area of the envelope. So I already printed it and I cut it out and just hiding the tracking number and addresses. So it'll go across just like that. When I am done taping it, then I will show all of you the finished product. Here is a fully packaged and completed priority mail envelope. The tape, it's flat. Sometimes when you tape, it'll get like uh, sticky, it'll get stuck. So it'll like bubble up and things. So just be aware of that. Try to make it as flat as possible. Also, uh, for the barcode, because the people at the post office need to scan that barcode every time they're transporting it, just make sure that this barcode is flat so that way it's easy for them to scan. And also that the tape is not bunched up in this area. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it was helpful, especially if you are selling jeans online. This is a great way to do it. And look for another video coming up soon. Thank you.